All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening from wherever you're joining us from. Um, you're all welcome for tonight's session. Um, we did promise that Sunday is going to be a continuation of last week's Sunday. If you remember, we um, what we talked about was science of candles, and we talked about other aspects on technical analysis. So we are going to be having a continuation of what we did covered last week Sunday. All right, so sit tight and relax and make sure you get your writing material so that you can write some important key points. All right, my name is Mohamed Adaba, Advanced Broker, Ray Acute Emotion International, and I'm here with, with, with Coach Sadi Suwi, who is a middle broker, also Ray Acute Emotion International. All right, so without wasting of, of much of your time, let's get started, please. Coach Sadi Su, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, you can proceed. Okay, so yes, last time we talked about candles. I'll, I'll just have, go run you guys through a brief summary before we talk about today's topic, which is going to be centered on downtrend, how to identify a downtrend, uptrend, trend change from downtrend to uptrend, trend change from uptrend to downtrend, ranging markets. These are the things that if you understand and really understand it very well, you find the market friendly when in terms of picking the signals. And as you know that these tactics of trading, you need to use the motion international settings so that as you enter the trade, you know when the market goes against you, you have margin calls. A lot of people don't attend Zoom because they feel that it's not, ah, maybe they feel that maybe it's not important. Knowledge is key. Like I dropped on the group today, you you could see Elon Musk spending 17 hours of his time on his business, right? They even see that that's how they work for themselves. But most of us here, we prefer working more hours for someone else who is going to forget our family after we die. Or... If you're on this call, let me ask you guys a sensible question. If you, all of us might be working nine to five. If you die today, can you beat your chest and say that your your boss can continue to pay your family salary? Yes or no? Type it on the chat box. I would want to see yes or no on the chat box. So let me just go. I want to see a response before I start. Will your boss continue to pay you your family salary after you die? Let's say, I've God forbid, I'm just asking a question because most of us are playing with this opportunity. Royal IQ, a business where you don't give anybody your money, your money remains 100% in your custody, and there's something like you lose money. Why won't you create time to learn this? to understand how it works, so that when you experience any challenge, you will use your knowledge hmm, to think about your problem and know that what's going to come is better than what you experienced. You know, some people are saying that you're experiencing floating loss. Floating loss is bound to be, right? But you have margin calls and your trade is on sub being real-time settlement that can be giving you money and the downtrend. Our style of trading gives you money uptrend and downtrend. So let's just go. I can see response. Wow. I think since you've known the answer, it means that you should take Royal IQ like your life depends on it. Because it is the only thing you can hand over to your children, your family, hmm, after your demise. Maybe that job you're doing, nobody, your children cannot inherit it. This is what your children can inherit. And even this skill you're learning, you can also teach your children. Imagine if your first son, imagine if your first son, Mm -hmm. learn this from you and he knows how to pick trades isn't that going to satisfy you that whatever happens your first son can go continue from here you stop or imagine if your wife your wife is also taking this serious and she knows how to do technical analysis and i want to believe very soon you guys will start to hear the female version of royal cute emotion international coach Mo's wife and my wife are very soon they are coming up to start doing technical analysis Coach Mo, <laughs> what do you say about that? I think we are working <laughs> that, on it. That would be, that, 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 that be amazing. <laughs> are we not working on it? 
Yes, we are. So you see, Gojimo and I, we are working. It's not as if we are not working, you know, but we are taking this like our life depends on it because it is what we want to hand over to our children. So without wasting much of your time, we'll go straight and continue from where we stop. Most in, uh, we want to share my screen. Sorry. You're not sharing your screen, please. Yeah, I want to share again. Yeah, I, when I'm done with the technical analysis, we will look at Acro and Bitcoin like we did last week before we move on to metamorphose to fundamental analysis. Kojimo, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Now, we talked about candles, that if we are saying that green candles mean bullish and red candles mean bearish. Green candles grow from the uh, top to the bottom, while red grows from the bottom to the top. Now, look at this candle. I just want to read, revise. This is a current candle. This is one day. You can see one day. When you see, you, you can change this one day to any time frame you want. If you want four hour, it means the candles will be forming every four hours. As you can see, this is four hours. You can see the time, right? This one is 9 p.m. It started 9 p.m. Four hours. We have six. If you are using four hour time frame, we have six candles that forms every, every 24 hours because we have six hour, six hours in four places. 24 hours so you can see remaining three hours and 42 minutes 23 seconds 1 a.m the crypto market opens 1 a.m so the candles are the last candle that is going to close for four hour time frame we close 1 a.m another one will start forming so that's where you check your your time frame then when you move it to one day i'm using one day we trade on one day four hour and one week now you see this is a candle that's if you look at, if we take this, your price range, this price range, I'm referring to this, this one here, when you pick it, hmm, pick price range. If you don't know how to save this, go and watch our video on how you can set up your indicators. You'll see how you can save all this. When you tap on price range, now you see if I move this, I can play with this. When I move it here, you can see it's showing, it will tell me the day, Saturday, 21st October. Mm -hmm. because I'm using one day candle. So it forms every 24 hours, right? If I move it again to the next one, you see today is 22nd, Sunday. You can see, tell me the day, and tell me the month, and tell me the year. That's how you see, even if you're using four hour or one hour, that's how it will tell you, to tell you the, the hour, the day, and everything is there. Now, look at this candle here. You see this candle, this is a day, that was yesterday. Now the candle opens, green candle starts to grow from the bottom. You see it, if it's opening price of at uh, yesterday opening price for AAV opening price was $65. You can see it, $65, you see it, $65, $65.90. Then closing price, it closes here. You see the closing price when you bring it to this place. Closing price is seventy dollar. You can see it grows from sixty six dollar to seventy dollar, right? Then this is the week or the shadow. This is the week or the shadow. The highest price is see the the week at the top tells you the highest price, and the week at the bottom tells you the lowest price. The lowest it goes the, yesterday was sixty five dollar. Then the highest, the highest, is. 70.90 dollar so this is how you check even if it is red or green candle now if you go let's check this candle see this one this is a red candle we mean we said red candle what means bearish now the candle start to form from the top and goes down now you see the candle here and this is the opening price for the red candle starting from the top you see the 4.82 then closing price you see it here which is what 62.56 you can see from 64 to 62 and the week is what the week is the week the shadow is the shadow you see it the low the highest price was 61 the highest sorry the highest price if you are using red the red can be highest price at the top here 64.82 and the lowest price is what 61.15 so this is how you check 
and know when the candles are representing. Each candle, strength of the candles tells you something, tells a story. It's very important for somebody to know that. However, remember, I used to say this, I, used, I usually reiterate my remark, let me be emphatic. It is not obligatory for you to say that you must understand this. You can just stick to trading without analysis if it's getting complicated for you. But this skill you're seeing here is important because it can give you good percentage if you know what you're doing. But if you are looking at it as it's too complicated, I'm not discouraging you, right? I'm not discouraging. Don't say I'm not. I'm not encouraging you. Some people, like like I say, I think in our last class I said that some people. Mm -hmm. One of my team members, he's currently a V2, going to V3. He's directly under me. He's under me in my team. He he has tried all possible means to understand this, but it doesn't it doesn't work for him. What he's sticking to, I that even move him to V2 is what he is. He has mastered trading without analysis. Once the coin shows a minus three, those were type twenty five were type coins of RQTMI. He load it on his trading view. Anybody that comes to join his team, he will just bring teach them how to trade without analysis. Anytime you see minus three or minus five on those volatile coins, those two volatile coins, go get it if you don't have it. Anytime you see minus three, just use magic one or magic three or magic five and take your three percent. Never go beyond three percent. That's all. Then, but if you chose to pay attention to this, maybe if you don't get it as you consistently watch videos. And with prayers, so you don't think that because you understand this, somebody else will, ah, what is there is too easy now. No, everybody's brain is not the same, right? No, that's why you see I'm taking my time very slow just to see that everybody on this call can understand it. If you don't, watch the YouTube, watch the recording. Now, if you have identified the bullish and the bearish can do, the next thing to know is to, to, to get to know is the downward trend and upward trend. As you know, our indicators, or the Fibonacci used to tell us uptrend and downtrend, right? Isn't it? I would want to remove it so that you see it like this is how your chart will look. I I am Coach Mo, we don't even trade with indicators. It's just that sometimes you just have to ensure that you help out carry everyone along. If you know the stories of the kind of what is telling you, you don't need kind of indicators to trade. But it's fine. If you know how to use these indicators, stick to it. Stick with what works for you. Now, just see, you see this, this is an uptrend. Why? Mm? When you see candles, green candles, consistently following each other, starting from this place. This is what I'm referring to. Now, starting from this place here, this area here, you see green candles consistently following each other. That's an uptrend. The price is from this place. You see it? It started from a green, green candle. Before red, it did, then green, then red, then green like that. But if it's an uptrend, it doesn't mean you're just going up. It's just like if you're running, you want to rest and continue the race. Eh? That's how this one works too. Now, you see, up, then you rest again, then up, then rest again, then up, and rest again. So now, this up that you're going, that you're seeing here is referred to as higher high, and the rest is referred to as higher low. Mm -hmm. Up again, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So the rest thing is what I, I, I called higher low. Mm -hmm. Then higher high, continue the race, higher low. So if it's an uptrend, you start seeing higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. That higher low, that's when you see red candle. The higher high, you see a red, a green candle. Mm -hmm. The higher low, you see a red candle resting, hmm? fall in price a bit. Then the race continues. That is how you identify an uptrend. Series of what? Series of green candles forming, coming, following each other would let you know that it's an uptrend, right? Then this red can be a bit pull back, raise, run, pull back, run, pull back. That's how you identify an uptrend. Now, if you are a downtrend, are you guys following me? Because if you're still following, type a yes on the chat box. Let me be sure that you guys are, 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 are understanding what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Good, good, good. If you have any question, please, you can write it down so that I'm done with the class. 
you will ask your question. So today is it. I'm going to say. Please let's patiently hold on for Kutsadi soon. All right, so like I was saying, if you have questions, just write down your questions because it is very important you ask questions where it is not clear so that we are going to make it clear for you. The reason why you are here is to learn. So we encourage you to ask questions, please. That is how you keep learning. Okay, sorry. I had to attend to something. Sorry about that. Which one, can you hear me? Yes, it's fine. We can hear you. Okay, so so that's how you identify an outtrend series of green candles following each other, which come in. I mean, I just want to use my my power bank. I don't have a light. There's no light here. So. So that's how you identify an uptrend, right? Series of green candles going up with a slight pullback, then up again. So you see higher high and higher low, higher high and higher low. The higher low, that's when you start seeing a slight red candle. The higher high, you see a green candle again, then red candle. Then that's how you see, that's how you identify an uptrend. Mm -hmm. What about a downtrend? How do you identify a downtrend? Let's see. Now, see. Now, this is this is an uptrend that has gone up, right? Now, from this area, you started seeing pricing going down. Then, run, pull back, run, pull back, run, pull back, and run again. Now, if it's a downtrend, what you'll be seeing is what? Lower high, lower low. Lower high, lower low. Lower high, lower low. Lower high. Now, that's what you'll be seeing if it's a downtrend. Then what do I mean? A downtrend is what you see a series of red candles. When it's a downtrend, price is going down. Uptrend, price is going up. When I say bullish means price is going down. When I say bearish means price is going down. Now, when you see a... If it's a downtrend, you start seeing series of red candles. The the resting will be green. It's slight green, then red, slight green, then red, slight green, then red. If it's a downtrend, as you can see here, that's what you're seeing here. There are more of a red candle than the green candle, if you can see my chart. More of a red candle. I'm referring to this area here, from this area. More of a red candle than a green candle. But if you look at compare with this area now, you can see that there are more of what there are more green candles than red candles. That's how you identify uptrend and downtrend. Then what about trend change? How does a trend move from one trend to another? From a lower, from a downtrend to an uptrend, or from an uptrend to a downtrend. How does it work? How does it happen? Now, if you see, if I to, I want to look show you guys from how does the trend change from an up downtrend to an uptrend. You could see that this is this is this is a lower low then lower high, lower low lower high. See it lower low then lower high, eh? then lower low then low higher high. What do I mean? This is a lower low and this is lower high. Red candle, then slight green. Red candle, which is lower low, then slight green, lower high. Red candle, lower low, slight green, which is lower high. Now, by the time the candles break the recent lower high, when I say break, means that there was a rise in price and a green candle goes and it closes above the lower high. That's when you start seeing 
a change in trend from a downtrend. This is a downtrend. Right? That's when you start seeing a change from the downtrend to an uptrend. I repeat. Let me do it again. I know it's not easy yet. It's not easy to understand these things. Right? But if you try as much as possible to watch the recording and as well ask questions, I believe with that you will get to understand. Now, I go back again. I say, if it's a downtrend, you see series of red candles, which is slight green candle. That series of red candle is forms lower low. That slight green candle forms a lower high. Lower high. That red candle again, you have what? Lower low. Green candle, you have lower high. Hmm? Red candle, you have what? Go down a lower low. A slight green candle, lower high. Now, when you see a green candle breaks the lower recent, the recent lower high, the recent lower high, that is when you would say that there is a change in the trend from a downtrend to an uptrend. There is an indicator that is called ABCDV1. That indicator also helps you. We don't want to use indicator because we call it science of candles. If you load that indicator, it can also show you lower high and lower low, lower high. It will just be showing you that. But I don't want to use indicators because we call it a science of candle. We want to see how we can show you guys how you can spot trade on candles. Then by the time we are done with science of candle, by the time you now merge it with indicators, powerful signal. All right? So that's why we don't want to bring that here. Now, you see? So if you think that that's how you see a change in the trend. Once it breaks the recent lower high, just know that the trend has changed. Now, what do I mean? See, this is what I mean here. This is a recent, let me use my horizontal line. If you don't know how to use it to, to, to bring your horizontal line on your favorite list, you can go watch our video on indicators where you know how to do that. And this is a recent lower high. You see it? The recent lower high. You can see the candle breaks it to form what? To form a higher high. Form a higher high. You can see the candle. When I say breaks, means the body of the candle. I am referring to the body of the candle. It breaks. You see it. You see it. You can see that this candle has broken. It closes above the what? The lower high. You can see. Everybody can see it. Once you see that, mm -hmm, there might be a small retracement to touch this before it continues the upward trend. If you want to be completely safe, that's how you, you see it. Hmm? No, you can see a red candle, then lower high, then lower low. Then a green candle now go up to come and close above the lower high, which is the recent lower high. That's when we say there is a change. There will be a change from a downtrend to an uptrend. That's when you now go okay and position yourself and enter where. It's all about positioning. We don't just pick a coin. It's all about checking and knowing when to enter. And also have your margin calls, which is very, very important. Using our settings and that's all. So that's how you see a change from a downtrend to an uptrend. What about from an uptrend to a downtrend? How do you do that from an uptrend to a downtrend? You see it here. This is a you could see that this is an uptrend. As I can show you guys, this is an uptrend. You see it. But like I say, it doesn't just go up like that. It's from what? What does it do? It doesn't just go, it forms a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. Like in this case, you could see that it's what? Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Now, when you see a candle, let me draw it again. I think it's not too clear. You see, this is a higher high. Then come down a slight red candle, higher low, higher high, higher low. Higher high, higher low, higher high. Mm -hmm. Now, when you see a green candle going up in, in an uptrend, then you now see a candle closes below the recent low and with recent higher low. Where is the recent higher low? When I tap on my horizontal line this is the recent higher low, as you can see when i say this is higher higher then higher low higher high higher low mm, then higher high 
And you see, this is a recent higher low. You see it? But when you don't see a red candle closes below the what? The recent higher low. That is when you see that it will be a change from an uptrend to a downtrend. Hmm? That will be a change from an uptrend to a downtrend. That's how you identify change from uptrend to downtrend. You could see I said what? If it's an, a downtrend going to uptrend, it has to break the recent lower high. If it's an uptrend to a downtrend, it has to break the recent higher low. Once you see that, I mean a red candle, but if it's downtrend for uptrend, a green candle closes above the recent lower high. Now, if it's what uptrend to downtrend, a red candle closes below the recent higher low. When you see that, that will be that means it signifies a change in the trend. And to prove it to you, you could see that from there it started going down. See it from this place it started coming down. And it came down again. But you don't forget, it's not as if you just go straight and come down. It's going to be what? Start to form a lower low, lower high, lower low. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. You can see then, then another out. That's how generally that's how come the most uptrend, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend. We also have sideways market, ranging market. I will show you guys ranging market. Hmm? Ranging market signifies a indecision in the market. It's not uptrend, it's not downtrend. Buyers are just in between the uptrend and downtrend, slowing down the uptrend or slowing down the downtrend. Hmm? before it is now moved to uptrend or downtrend. I'll show you guys. So if you've understand what I've just said now, so far, you can type a yes just to know, ensure that everybody's, everybody's on, we are on the same page. Just type a yes on the chat box. So far, if, I've, if you understood what I've just show, what said so far, type a yes on the chat box. Okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. Interesting. I'll be very slow, please. With I don't mind spending one hour or two, one hour, no one half hour or two hours here, so long as we have impacted knowledge on everyone. You have no reason why you should not succeed in where you. Every team we always have Zoom session. It's now up to you. Anything you are looking for, every information you look for are on the Zoom. If you don't have time to watch Zoom, watch the recording. If you watch the recording and you're in our various group throw your questions there or go back and search for your offline or search for your mentor, ask them questions mm -hmm. or drop it on the group where you are, where you got this link from. You will get an answer. So the only person that is stopping you to, from succeeding in royalty is you yourself. It is you that is stopping yourself. You have no reason why you why you not succeed. So that's how you check an uptrend. That's how you confirm uptrend to downtrend. Now, what about a ranging market? A ranging market. I think a very good example of a ranging market. You could see, uh, you guys, you could see this is an uptrend. I, will, I think I will come back to this if I'm not, if I'm not, if I don't forget. If I don't didn't forget, let's go back to to I think it's easy. Q2, Q2. Search for it. Come Q2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, let me search for a coin Q2. Sorry, I'm searching for I want to search for a coin Q2. You can see it here. Now you can see this is a ranging market. What are we talking about here? This is a candle that moves uptrend. See the uptrend? It was moving like this downtrend. Then from the downtrend, you can see the recent. What is the recent? lower high the recent lower high let me use a horizontal line see the recent lower high see it eh? you can use the week or you can use the body preferably you, you use the body see it recent lower high. you see it broke when it broke what happened it started going up it started going up mm -hmm. now from that downtrend from that uptrend what happened from the uptrend mm -hmm. when i say the recent Recent higher low, recent higher higher low. You see, in this case here, you have what higher low, higher high, higher low. 
Hmm? This is the recent higher low here. Hmm? Recent higher low. Once you see the candle now broke, it now broke it. The red candle now broke it here. Well, hmm? I'm and even here. Break it. Then you now go. You see it, it started Some coming down. Shit. Started coming down. Although it will not come down completely like that, to be showing high, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. You see it. Let's go. You see it started coming down. Lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. See, then lower, low. Now, now started seeing a ranging market. When you start seeing that, it means it signifies a slow in momentum of the trend. The trend is downtrend, but it's slowing down. Hmm? It's no longer going down it, as you can see. It's no longer going down, as you can see. It's not going down. It's not moving the same on the same level, just like a snake. Should I call it a snake horizontal line? See it? Snake. Snake movement. This is how you see a range in markets. Same level like this once you signify something when you get something like this it is means a slow in the momentum if it's a downtrend that if it's coming from a downtrend it means it's a downtrend is slowing down if it's coming from an uptrend it means the uptrend is slowing down now that's how you see at the signify i don't want to show you guys as time goes on you will know how you can pick it from here well i just want to show you a ranging market this is how a ranging market is from a downtrend to a ranging market. From a ranging market, it could be either up or down. That, as time goes on, you would understand and know. So this is how you identify ranging markets, right? from a downtrend to an uptrend. I think we've come to the end of this class. Like I see, we're not going to pause you play more, plenty of information. We just want to take it slowly, 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 until you hit that 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 stage of you being able to sit down in your house, take 20, 30 percent and know what you're doing, right? So for now, we're going to stop here. We have talked about three things: uptrend, downtrend, oh, sorry, five things: uptrend, downtrend, change from uptrend to downtrend, change from downtrend to uptrend, then ranging market, then ranging market. These are the five things we've talked about today. You can go back and watch the recording to it. And also, one thing that makes you master this art of trading is to ensure that you, you go watch the recording and go and be looking for what you have watched on the recording on chart. Once in a while, pick your chart and check it to know, okay, uptrend, downtrend. You are training your eyes. By the time you do it several, you find that once you open your, mark, your chart, you know what is uptrend, you know what is downtrend, you know lower, low, lower, high, you know higher, high, higher, low, you know ranging market. Thus, immediately you open your chart. As you keep doing it consistently, you get better on it. So thank you very much. We'll stop here. So I'll just go straight to my... Before I go to fundamentals, I would like us to look at Bitcoin and... Bitcoin and Acro, because Acro is a coin that most people are trading. Let's see how what's going to what are they doing and what's going to happen to them in the future. This is Bitcoin. Bitcoin. I usually use the longer time frame. Hmm? This is one day Bitcoin. One day. I think it's a signal I posted and it's already on the floating profit. However, it's yet to deliver. Mm -hmm. But some people will say, ah, I better take 3% or 3%. That's you, right? So with the 4% signal, you will see that it's, it's going up. And you can see from a downtrend, you see a downtrend and ranging market. From the ranging market, it goes up. These are things you're going to learn. But I usually use one-week chart, one-week chart to check longer time frame. That's what I use to check. Now, you can see this is Bitcoin on the one. Let me remove this. I don't need to. So this is Bitcoin on the one week. On the one week. And you use pirate channel. You can also use pirate channel. Pirate channel. Now 
Now this is Bitcoin on the one week, right? Now on the one week. Now this is Bitcoin on the one week. Sorry, I need to change this color. Right, you know, just talk. Now, what are we looking at in this? Like I see, is you see a downtrend, see a downtrend, it's coming down. When you start seeing a ranging market, it slows, it means that the momentum of sell has slowed down. It has slowed down. It could either be what uptrend or downtrend, hmm? depending on what's going to happen. So if you see a ranging market like this, you could see. Mm -hmm. You just need a candle to close above the resistance. If you see a range market, when you see a candle that closes above the resistance, it tells you that in the future, the price is going off. You can see here, you guys can see from the chart, after drawing my, 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 my resistance, you see it, a candle now closes above it. It's telling you that soon there will be a change in the trend from the downtrend to the uptrend. Now, what are we saying? We are looking at Bitcoin going up and if it's going up, what are we going to see? The next resistance is this line here. All this you're going to learn with time, this blue line here, which is 37. Hmm? Hmm? 37 or 40. That's what we are looking at, 37 or 40. This is just one week. So what I just show you guys now, you know that you have, if Bitcoin is going up, there's no coin that will not go up. Mm -hmm. It's just that even if Bitcoin is going up today, some coin will not pump until when it came come down a bit before the other ones will pick up. If it's going down, coins will go down. Why? Because majority of traders look at Bitcoin before they enter a coin. Majority of traders. So the more money comes to the market, price will go up. So that's if you're looking at 37 to 40. Mm -hmm. Not No, I'm not saying you're going to see 37 to 40 tomorrow. I'm saying that in the future, from now to December, we're looking at 37.40 because this is you're looking at one week chart. You're looking at one week chart. Now, if you've seen this, then let's go back to what? Let's go back to ACO. Go back to ACO. Some are in this ACO um, because of what? Because they don't know, they are scared. I even know someone that, I, I, I that some, somebody told me about someone that was in ACO and decided to sell at a loss and sold at a loss of $1,000, which is 1 million naira in Nigerian currency. Why? Because he's ignorant. He doesn't know the chart. If you know what's going on in the chart, in fact, you'll be happy. Thank God, it's even God has even come down. That's when you now open margin calls or you do manual management, depending on you. Bring in more money. If you don't want to bring in more money, remain patient, keep on marketing real you and wait for the price to recover. This coin we are seeing on the one week, some of us are thinking it's not going to work. Maybe uh, we are just hyping it. It has done this in the past. And even if you check, just to prove to you, on the 26th of December 2022, which is last year, Acro did 240% plus. Somebody will say, I'm just using this to sway your mind. Let's, let me prove it to you. Very good. Let me prove it to you. Hmm? You know, charts don't lie. This is practical. Hmm? I'm not I'm talking like theory here. Let's check it out. So you see, I'm looking for 2022. 26th December 2022. December 2022. Sorry. See, I think it's this. You see it? Guys, you see it? Eh? Charts don't lie. This is 26th December 2022. Last, last year, the beery season. This is the reason why we are trading a crew. A coin that was crazy in the berry season. What? How much is it going to be in the bully season? Those coins you see, RKTMI recommended and is, we target as volatile coins. These are coins they were pumping in the berry season. Of course, 
Ant, NDX, Sun, Light, all these coins that you see, you are crazy in the bearish. You are pumping money for us in the bearish. While others are running away from crypto royal queue, we were there, we were still cashing out money. Why are they running away? Because they don't have the knowledge. And that's why we are sharing free of charge here. You don't pay anything. The only thing you do is to pay attention. Now, look at Aku. Somebody you say maybe uh, I didn't create this chart. Go, go and open your go and open your trading view by yourself. This is if you are using Binance. I'm talking about Binance. So if you're using Binance, look at it. Measure it from here. 26. You see the date 26. Measure it from here. See? Did you see it? I said 240% plus. What are you even seeing? 265% plus. That is 2.6x of your money, 2.6 times your capital. So imagine, that's what we're seeing. Cryptocurrency is bigger than oil and gas. For you to make 100% of your capital in oil and gas, after paying royalty tax, education tax, company income tax, hmm? you would have to spend five years to recover 99% of your capital, 100% of your capital, until after five years. Now imagine if you put your money, you've already have this key, you know what's going on in the market. You have this key, you position yourself and you made 2.6X of your $10,000 in just 24 hours, 2.6X times $10,000. That's $26,000. Remove your capital, that's, that's what? This, that's $26,000, sorry. $26,000 profit in just less than one day or in less than one month if you put your money. A coin that did this and you're saying, yeah, you're some of us and my coin is in floating loss. What is going to, how is it happening? It is because you don't have the knowledge and that's why you need to attend the Zoom to learn the knowledge. If you have the knowledge, just like if you spend, compare the tri crypto trading and, and school. When you started school, you are paying school fees. You are just injecting money. Let me even give you a good example here. When you started school from 100 level, if you are university, 100 level, your first year in university, where you being paid, you are opening margin costs. When I'm opening margin costs, you're opening margin costs on your schooling, but we're not really, the, it was not selling. Did you were you collecting money? You're already paying you monthly or weekly. You were not paying you, but you're still bidding in more money, injecting in more money. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, you're still paying expenses. You're just bidding money, putting money, putting money. It is after you have graduated that you will now start looking for a job. Hmm? Before you now start what? Enjoying floating profit. I will not call it it's floating loss. You will call your school fees floating loss because you it's not permanent loss because you have gotten the knowledge and at the end of the day, you now what? Come back to floating profit. So if you understand it, you need the knowledge, skill. Master the skill and know what you know and use it to make money. So you see, this is what Acro did in the past, 26 of December. So some of us, if you're thinking that it's not going to, a coin that did it in the bearish, or how much in the bullish? We are still, we are in the, we're just in the bullish year. Mm -hmm. We are about to enter real bullish year. Where we have entered, but it's not really entered the way that people, we've entered, we would last few, few, three, four, five months ago. You see how come we're pumping. Even WRS, you see 73%. Very soon you start seeing, you see now, you see on the, if you look at the stochastic, you see it on the buy zone. Even the monthly is going to the buy zone. Mm -hmm. So this coin will deliver if you're accru. I think what you should be doing is to open margin call, more margin call. Maybe anytime you market to like you thirty dollar or forty dollar or fifty, depending on the rank, use it to open margin call or keep increasing your capital. Because by the time it deliver, you will be glad you did. I just show you, eh? I just show you accru and I just show you Bitcoin. So that's it. Now, what about the fundamental? I think I'll just pick one. Which is what interest rates. If you go to which is coming up first of November, if you go to this website www.cryptocraft.com, www.cryptocraft.com, as you can see, this is Cryptocraft. This is the website. Go here. That's where you can get every detail. Okay, fundamental analysis. Now you go there. I was just going to show you guys just interest rate. Which is coming up first of November. All the dates are there. I'll go straight to interest rate first of November. You see it first of November. It's coming up first of November. And what is you can tap on is for Fed US federal fund rate. That's interest rate, right? And you tap on it, it shows this. Then you tap on this. Tap on this. Tap on this. 
takes you to this page. Then right? you scroll down, you see all the interest rates, all the interest rate for the year started from starting from from January 2020. Sorry, starting from January, February 2023. Starting from February 2023, you can see 4.75 goes like that. 4.75 feet. 4.75. That's what we started with. And today we are at today we are at 5.5. 5.5 interest rate. Now, why do you think traders are not coming in to bring in that big money that will pump the market? Why? When you borrow money and they tell you your interest rate is 4.7% yearly, hmm? that's what you're going to pay. The interest you're going to pay on that money you borrowed. Now, when you start to go up, what do you think you will do? You want to go and sell and start paying back the money before because the interest is going up. Instead of paying 4.75, you're paying 5.0. Next one, you're paying 5.2 because the money is still with you. You're yet to finish paying. Next one, the interest is going up. So people will have to go and sell. Those coins, those money, you see big, big, crazy money. Some of them, most of them are borrowed money. Mm -hmm. So they will go and sell it. And when they sell it, what will happen to the market? The market will go down. They will want to return the money back to the bank. That's why the Federal Reserve are increasing interest rate because they want to people that borrow money to return the money back. And when they are increasing interest rate, what is going to happen? People will start laying off staff because they will not be able to pay. They borrow the money to to increase their, their the, to maybe to or oh, to expand their company to increase their their their, their monthly or yearly uh, production. Then what is going to happen to salary? They will not have that money to pay salary. So they start what sacking staffs. Banks will also start to crumble, crumble because when people want to come and collect money and go and pay for pay money from if they borrow money from a bank and they put it somewhere else. They will have to remove that money and go and pay back. So that's what is going to happen. People will start losing their jobs. Company will start laying off workers. And for the only way Fed can know, Federal Reserve, those they know that what they are doing is really having an effect in the market is when they start seeing companies laying off staff, even like two, three weeks, linking stack 600 plus staffs. These are the signs that Fed wish to see. Hmm? She wish to see. To know that if this interest is really affecting the, the the economy or not, so now imagine if you borrow money now, if you borrow money at this five point five, if you are sure that there are not there cap, there is a cap. When there is a cap, you are sure that it's not going to go up further, and you borrow money at this point, you can see you will be at an advantage because if it's coming down now, it's coming down. The interest rate is coming down now. Instead of paying five point five, you're paying five point five point two five, five point zero. It's coming down. So people are really watching that. Okay, when is when will that be a cap in the interest rate? When will that be a cap? When there is a cap, now definitely they can go and jump in and borrow money because they know that the price, the interest is coming down. As it's coming down, it will be to our, to their own advantage. So that's it. This is how you look at interest rate. So if the next interest rate is lower than five point five, it's going to be good for the market. Because people will now see coming and borrow money to jump into crypto. Hmm? Now, see, if you don't understand all the things that I just said now, just come here and read. Actual, less than focus, good for crypto. Simple. Go see the actual. The actual is what? And some of us need to forget about this story. I just, I just wanted to, those that really understand economics. I myself, I hate economics in my in my secondary in my university days and secondary school days. But because now I'm seeing the economics giving me money, so I have to learn it. I have to go read, read a lot to understand what it is. <laughs> because money is here. There's money, there's crazy money here. Now you see, this is actual 5.5. This is forecast. When I say forecast, the predicted price. So just like you forecast in, in the chart prices, that's how it sticks here. The previous is 5.5. If the Actual is less than focus. The actual, if it comes out at 5.4, anything less than 5.5, good for the market. So it's simple. You already, if you've seen it, they've told you actual less than focus, good for crypto. That's all. You're good to go in case you don't want all this explanation. I just did. So this is how you, I would just, I just decided to talk about interest rate today. Our next meeting, we can jump into another parameter, which is job data or consumer price index, which is CPI. So thank you very much. Let me allow you guys, I think I've just used one hour now. It's now 10 o'clock. Let me see if I can, if I can accommodate questions.
Thank you very much. Coach Mo, over to you. Wow, thank you so much, Coach Alisu. That was a wonderful session. And I believe you all have learned tonight. This is what people pay thousands of dollars to learn. I am telling you. But you are getting all this knowledge for free, getting these skills for free, and people sit down to pay attention to learn these skills. So I really don't know why, but please, this is what people pay. Pay a lot of money to learn. So why not pay attention when you're getting these things here for free? So if you have questions, if you have questions, please you can ask your questions so that we can quickly answer your questions one after the other. All right, I think somebody dropped a question on the chat box, Coach Sadison. Oh, okay, I'm listening. Okay. Um, oh, my, the network threw me out, so I, I lost the chat. Can you check over there? I lost the chat. I don't think there's a question, no? I've not seen any. I, I saw a question before, but I can't find this here. Anymore. Okay, somebody saying, so I have a, I've seen a case where a red candle forms very long without any green in between, is it still downtrend? Like I say, when you see a red candle, long coming down, breaking the the the, the recent higher, higher, higher low, that signifies a change in the trend from an uptrend to a downtrend. Mm -hmm. You just have to go to your chart and, uh, and uh, identify, watch the recording again and go to your chart and identify the lower low, lower high. Or just look at it again. Hmm? Maybe you can take a snapshot of the the the, the coin I, I talked about. Go and look at it and compare with any other downtrend you've seen in your chart. That way you will be able to capture the, the picture of a downtrend. Right? When you see a long candle, you're talking about red candle. Yes, that's what I'm referring to. When you start seeing red candles, uh I would want I think I've done the revision again. I don't want to go back again because time. And it's not our friend now. Yes, ranging market is the same thing as consolidation. Ranging market is the same as consolidation. Take note of that. So I think we just that's just two questions. No more question again. So how do we compound our capital and how do we scale quickly? Of course, if you make, I think I explained this was it two or three days ago. Last time we met on the Zoom, maybe you are trading with hundred dollar. You are using Magic Three. Man, right? your first buy is fifteen dollar, and immediately your coin said you made a profit of one dollar. So the next trade you are going to pick, you just add one dollar to the. And once after you have load, if you have load the 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 setting on the coin that you want to trade on the next trade, change the first buy to fifteen plus your profit total profit you are making if it is one dollar. Add the one dollar to the fifteen, it becomes sixteen dollar. So immediately you save and you tap on go ensure you check your start, strategy mode. Ensure it's on superior term settlement. Tap on start. It will pick the sixteen dollar. Use the sixteen dollar, which is the first buy to buy the coin. So once it has bought, then you go back to trade setting and change that fifteen to fifteen to sorry, change the sixteen to fifteen because fifteen is the first buy on the setting. That's all. Anytime it serves again. Anytime it sells again, you if you make a profit of three dollar, so every everything you made so far is three dollar. If it has sell, go back again and load the setting on the coin and add the three to the fifteen, it becomes eighteen. Once you tap on start, ensure you check submit return settlement to strategy mode. And once you tap on start, it has picked with eighteen. You go back to trade thirteen and change it to change that fifteen to eighteen to fifteen, and tap on save. You will then you will remain patient and wait for it to sell. So that's how you compound. King Tom, I want to believe you understand what I said. Is that okay? Okay, so I I think we've answered that's all the fine. questions. That's fine, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So I think we've answered all the questions so far. Please, these tactics you're seeing, our setting works with our style of trading. Don't say you want to jump in any team you're using, any team you're working with. If you're easy, easy, the likes of Crypto Ambassador, the likes of Team Royalty, the likes of 
and Team Superstar, the likes of Team Unstoppable, and all of them. Mm -hmm. Anything you're using, stick to their setting and stick to their style of trading if you want to see results. If you are using Team Crypto Ambassador, ensure you stick to their style of setting and their style of trading so that you see the result you desire. If you're using Team Superstar or Team Unstoppable or Team Royalty, stick to their setting and stick to their style of trading. That's how you see results, right? If you're using Team Motion International, stick to the style of setting, so the style of trading is also the way we set the robots. If you don't have the Excel sheet, go and get the Excel sheet. We dropped it on the group yesterday. Kuchumu, I think you dropped it on the group yesterday, right? Yes, I did. So I, just saw a, I just saw a question that uh, called on my attention, very, very important. And I think we need to play it out for the person. Okay, so what's the question? He said, okay, um, say, said there is no loss. You have you seen it? Okay, so they said there is no loss in this trading way. Then why is the money you use for first buy in price reducing? Now let me tell you, let me ask you. Now, if you are if you go to if you are if you are into car business, let me use car for example. I think I used to use bag of rice, but today I want to use car. If you buy a car, if you buy a car, okay. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, let me use car. If you buy a car at one thousand dollar per car. Let's say you buy one car. Maybe let's say Tesla. You bought a Tesla car at $1,000. And you want to sell the car at $1,500. Now, when you kick the car and you brought it to your house, mm -hmm. after five days, you're looking for a buyer. Somebody now called you and told you that this is your car. The value now has now gone down to $700. If you want somebody to buy it, you will have to sell it at $700. My brother, will you sell? So long as you know that the price will hit your target of $1,500, eh? as long as the car is in your house, you have not lost money. That seven hundred dollar that you are told that that is the value of the car. That seven hundred dollar that you are seeing your your car, the car is still with you, but the seven hundred dollar, the value of the car has gone down to seven hundred dollar. That is the the money you are seeing in your Binance. Mm -hmm. That coin you are trading that you are seeing that the money has gone down. Go and check the quantity. Your quantity is the car I'm referring to. The value that you are seeing that has gone down is the seven hundred dollar. If it is seven hundred dollar, mm -hmm. but you have not lost money. Why? Because the quantity, the car is still with you. So long as you do not sell it, the car is still with you. Mm -hmm. That seven hundred dollar now is now the three hundred dollar that is off the one thousand that makes it seven hundred dollar is now called floating loss. Why is it floating loss? Because it's not a real loss. Because you have not taken the car to go and sell to that person that wants to buy a seven hundred dollar. That's why it's called floating loss. But when the car the price value of the car now rose to $1,200, but you want to sell at $1,500. That $200 that is on top of the $1,000 is called floating profit. It is not a real profit. Until you take the car and take it out and go and sell it for the real buyer at $1,200. That's when you now say, okay, you have actually make a real profit of $200 on, top, on the top of your $1,000. But so long as you kept the car in your house, you're still waiting for a buyer that will buy at $1,500. It will still, that will see, you will still get a buyer that will buy it. So immediately you get a buyer that will buy it and it has hit your target. That's $1,500. So $500 now is now your floating profit. Until you take that car out and go and sell, that profit is still called floating profit. So that's the difference between floating loss and floating profit. So long as the quantity of the coin you are trading is in your custody, in your Binance. Let me even tell you something. This morning, somebody, one of my team members called me and told me that he need an emergency, he is in, he need emergency money and he's trading with $160 and he's using magic three and he's compounding and he has made six dollars so far. All right. I think it's not even less, it's not up to two weeks or one week that not up to one week or two weeks that he started. Now he called me and his coin has already bought his coin has already bought two margin call. But eight dollars was on the coin. Now, he's left with $118 on his Binance. 
and he just quickly converted it. As you know, when he started, dollar was around 900 and something. Now dollar is around 1,190, which means he's already in big, massive profit. So he sold $118 at 140,000 Naira in Nigerian currency. Quickly go and stop margin call and sold the money, sold the, the $118. So you see, this is a reason that your money is in, if the money was not in his custody, the money is which is in a system. Maybe I, or oh, those that did Omega Pro, those that did CFX, mm, cash FX. Your money you are seeing it, but you can't withdraw. Can you try that in a Ponzi scheme? You cannot do that in a Ponzi scheme. You and I know that. Everybody on this call knows that that cannot happen in a Ponzi scheme. Is it IPC or it uh, is FB or O2 or 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 MT, M, MFTE? All these are Ponzi schemes because your money is not in your custody. So whenever you want to withdraw, it's not possible. I even know somebody that invested close to fifty thousand dollar on a Mega Pro. And after today, the person is still praying that God will, God can, can can touch the heart. Forget about that money. Once he forget about it, it's gone. Hmm? You can't try that. So it's only in real IQ that you can try it. That's why you see us. We have been there. We have been there. There's not there is no Ponzi thing that you tell us that we come and do that we will do. We have been there. Our hand have been burnt. If I should tell you how much I've lost, it will shock you. Coach Mo has even lost more money than me. Me, I'm talking to you like this. <laughs> That's why you see we now focus on real IQ. If you near us with anything, we are going to even cost you. Don't come, you don't come to us, don't even come to my picture to, with any business that is not real IQ. <laughs> you you know, you know you can't even try it. So that's why you focus on real IQ because our capital and profit is hundred, in fact, not even hundred percent, one thousand percent in our custody. We can do whatever we want. So imagine if this guy is not his money is in, in, in is in a Ponzi scheme. And you you are the one that introduced him to that position, and you say you want to withdraw, it's not going. That's the you will lose you will lose your integrity. And if the care is not taking police station, you end up in police station. Okay, so somebody is saying, don't worry. Okay, some you say that so for now, what I've just explained so far. There's nothing like loss. You don't lose money. It's just the value. The quantity is constant. The quantity is constant. Take note of that. Go and check the quantity of the coin you're trading. It doesn't change. It remains the way it is. It is the value that change. It goes down and up, up and down until when it hits your targeted price. So thank you. Somebody is saying, how can one predict a reversal using candle patterns? We are going to come to that. Mm -hmm. Slow and steady. We're going to come to that. I don't want to talk about reversal now. I just want you guys to understand downtrend, uptrend, stranging market, changing from downtrend to uptrend, changing from uptrend to downtrend. All this you will learn free of charge. Just keep attending our Zoom. So thank you very much, Coach Mo. I think we will have... Okay. In terms of mastering the robot, how the robot works, I think I think we did a Zoom session on that. Maybe you can go and search for it on the YouTube channel. Coach Mo, maybe you search for the video. Mm, or maybe if you don't have it, you can also have a session on that because people really need to understand how the robot works and how the robot picks their money and gives their money to trade. Mm, that's true. I think we did that previously. Around yeah, there are, there, are, there are trainings. Yeah, there are previous trainings we've, we've, we've covered that topic. So all that what a person needs to do is to check our YouTube channel and check those videos. Um, you can also request for it. Um, let me see. I will see how I can get it across to all the groups, and we can go and rewatch so that you get the, the right information there. But if, if, however, if you still don't understand it, I think we can also have a session on that because if you understand mm -hmm. the robot, you will know that there is no business for me. My own view. Exactly. I've not seen any. There is no. In fact, there is no any business. There is no any. Even if it is physical business, there is not. There is no process that, that you request for your. Your, for your money, you get it. Either. People don't want to understand what React is, how powerful it is. They don't just understand. They are just interested in fixed interest, fixed interest. Fixed interest is will lead you to premium tiers because they will just entice with all those fixed interest. Before you know, they'll move away with your money. You don't have fixed yeah. interest yet. Coach Mo, yeah, didn't you on, see what happened to exactly. IPC? IPC. Just to close exactly. the session. Remember IPC. They were doing it that they have certificates, they have all these things. We were there. 
you and I, we didn't we lose money there? We, we did. It was, but it is FB. Didn't we lose money there? Exactly. That's. Let me tell you guys. We that we are telling you this. We are talking from experience. Don't think we have not lost money. We have lost money before in the past, and we have learned our lesson the hard way. And that's why we are trying to see that you you want to fall a prey like us. So if you think you are still interested in Ponzi scheme, go ahead. Don't forget police station. Man, and you might end up in prison or police station. Hmm? And you lose your integrity. Eh? It's up to you. Thank you very much. Coach Mo, close the session. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time tonight. Amazing session. And we all have. All right. So please, you can go back tonight or I'm feeling it tomorrow morning. So see you um, on Wednesday for our um, prospective trainings. Please be there. Do ensure you invite all your prospects to come and learn from the lessons that will be treated on Wednesday. So thank you so much. Good night, everyone.